here we are once again to continue the adventures of Ravon. Now then, after going around and exploring the town a bit, and well, we've got a bike. Thanks to the bike voucher we won in the first Triple Triad Gym, we were able to obtain a reliable form of transport that requires no electricity, rather rely on one's own connect kinetic energy. And so, ah, and so, we advance over to the next gym with our current party. And, like I said before, within the last episode, I was going to grind and to do the triple triad challenge without boring the audience as much. So, I, so I did it off screen and I managed to win an Eviolite off the triple triad leader of this town. And, which is what I gave to Lombre because, well... Let's be honest, it's probably going to be a little while until I get a Waterstone to evolve Lombre into a Ludico though, so... An Eviolite is... Well, ideal for this kind of situation, and I transferred the Miracle Seed to my Whimsicott. So, we're all good there. And now, we will let- Oh, here we go. Oh, a Challenger? It's too bad for you, but I'm closing down for the gym for a while. I have to see to some personal matters. If you still want to find a gym challenge, though, you can head west to challenge Elise or south to challenge Sylvia. Although, I'm not sure Sylvia is accepting challenges right now either. Well, either way, sorry to inconvenience you. I do hope we get another chance to battle. I have to go now, though. See ya. What? What? This is quite the predicament I'm in. What do you mean you have personal matters? What personal matters do you have to... Well then. Change of plans, I suppose. Where did she go? <laughs> uh... Ravon? Huh, it's you. Looks like you finally caught up. And that's right, I already graduated and have a badge and now, huh? You have two badges already? What? Okay, I see how it is. Anyway... We both know badges don't tell the whole story when it comes to a trainer's strength. Let's see which one of us is really stronger. Yes, I've been looking forward to my rematch after the last battle. And I'm already at a disadvantage because flying. I'm just gonna switch immediately. That is not good. Wait, did... Oh. Okay, he didn't do anything until now. I guess he must have missed the first infuse ray or tried to use a poison move I didn't actually notice. Alright. And bullet punch. If you can get past the confusion. Yep. Oh. That didn't do much. That did surprising damage. Well, I mean, not much, but yeah. Got him. Shop it. A ghost type. I don't exactly. Well, actually, wait, no, I do have primate, because I think you have insure. Yeah, you do. Alright, Primate, you should be faster than the Shuppet, given you're a speedy physical attacker. 
Although not the best speedy physical attacker, 95 speed is still not bad. At least I hope so. Assurance. Wow, that was almost a one shot. And I still got Will O Wisp. Assurance. Finish it off. Level 35. Swagger. Nah. I do not want to raise the attack of my enemy. And I am burned. Lumineon. I got a Whimsicott for that. Giga Drain. Huh. You're, uh, you're surprisingly able to survive that. Despite the weakness. Using a fire type, I see. And I'll hit you with Stun Spore. Very Wind. I'm very surprised you didn't use that earlier. Do come to that mistake, as I have a crowbat. Yeah, that's right. I evolved mine to its full evolution before you could. I hit him with acrobatics. You're done for. Send in Lumineon. Stay. Finish it off with Cross Poison. Good work, Robat. Darn it. Man, you got really good at this. But that's alright. I'll keep getting better, so you better... too. So what do you plan on doing now? Have you visited the gym in town yet? It's good to see you again, Ravon. The headmaster has been inquiring about you. If you're not busy, I recommend you head back to the academy to see him. It might not be my place to tell you this, but there is a reason to believe that conflicts may arise in the le region soon. The headmaster might tell you more if you plan on going back, though. I suggest that you stop by the bicycle shop first. I am already ahead of you. Well, I was already ahead of you the whole time about that matter. A bike will make your trip back to the academy much easier. Mr. Sterling, you should put on your glasses, because I'm clearly on a bike. In fact, surprisingly, I was battling on a bike the whole time, like Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> 5DS, except, I, except it's not on motorcycle. Except it's not with dual monsters, it's with Pokemon. <laughs> well, that is all I have to tell you. Take care of on Cirrus. Cirrus, I mean. So they're calling you back? I heard about what happened in Tygain. I bet anything that the headmaster has too. Maybe he wants to give you a good lecturing. Heh. <laughs> Maybe he'll hand over you to Ramstrong. Well, who knows? Are you planning to go back? Hmm. No, not quite. No, not immediately. Yeah, it's not like they can tell us what to do anymore. Heck, why don't... We don't even get a financial support like everyone else. We deserve to be able to do what we want. Anyway, I've been all, I'll be off exploring. Maybe head to the beach or something like that. Be seeing you around, man. 
Yes, well, I gotta... Well, we managed to get our revenge on Cirrus after that battle. Anyway... Let's adventure! Well, we are wanted back at the academy for some reason. I do wonder what... What matter the headmaster would have with me. Although I have won two gym badges already, it still doesn't compare to a member of the Elite Four. Actually, now that I think about it, I should... Is there anything new at the base of operations? Greetings, greetings. As you do. Is there anything new here? Kinda have a bad feeling about this drafty. It's probably nothing though. Hmm. It did seem ominous. I get it. Alright. Nothing new. Nothing new it seems. Back to Back to the academy, I suppose. What could the headmaster want me for? Who knows? Erevan, Camp Gru is about to go to the Autumn Hill where the Cel where Celebi- Ah! Where Celebi's shrine is! You should go and sign up, if you want to go, that is. Ooh, actually, yes. Well, I did say I'm not going to go there immediately, so... Haha, <laughs> screw you, Headmaster. I got my priorities first. Ravon's interest in nature over, well, whatever matter the Headmaster has. Ah, it's good to see you, Ravon. I don't know if you've heard yet, but we're planning to take a trip to the Autumn Hill. Autumn Hill is up north in the Redwood. You can hike up the top to the top to see Celebi's Shrine. Since it's nearby, the trip is free of charge. It's traditionally one of our most popular field trips. Would you like to sign up? Yes. Definitely. Ravon has always been interested in seeing monuments of nature-based legendaries such as Celebi. You'll need consent from a parent or... Actually, no, I stand corrected. According to the database, you've graduated from Nihago Academy. They are automatically approved for the field trip. That's good, since we're running low on time, that is. Prepare your things, we'll be leaving shortly. Come on, Ravon, it's time to hike up Autumn Hill. Ah, Autumn Hill. I remember it like as if it were yesterday, or last episode, because I... Or two episodes ago, because I trained up my team, and now they're absolute units. Anyway, what's going on? I hope they don't tell us not to battle. I want to see what a battle on a mountain is like against other trainers. You're a pretty strong Pokemon, right? I have to battle you when we have time. Alright. Is everyone here? Okay, good. Get into partners and we'll get ready to hike up the hill. Do you want to go up the hill together? I'm not strong, but I won't be able to help if we get into a battle, but I can heal your Pokemon when you need it. Well, you're the only person left, so I don't see why not. Okay, just talk to me if you want to heal your Pokemon. Understood. Oh, did you want me to heal your Pokemon? Here. Okay. To hike up the hill, you want to take the other path. Understood. I've actually hiked up there myself beforehand. Oh. I just caught a new Pokemon. You'd be the first trainer opponent. Every Pokemon has its usefulness. So I'll do it in Don't worry, I can 
solo this pretty easily. Uh, yeah, I'll test it out, why not? And I'll pick a drain you. Ha! Quick attack. Seems you are outmatched. Just to test out a little combo. Right, okay. Bubble Beam on the Radicate. Fairy Wind on Swadloon. Rain Dance Stab Enhanced by Rain. Giga Drain on the Radicate. Into Jot. Yep, fairy wind again. I need a better fairy move, honestly. Oof. Oh yeah, and the Eevee Elida should also play a factor into this one too. Switch out for now and go into Matang because Matang needs that experience. Oh, no, don't do that. Giga Drain, no, not Giga Drain, no. Fairy Wind on Swathloon again. Convenient. Same headbutt. Whimsicott switch to Primate. to the top. See you there, Ravon. Hmm. Can't believe both of those guys battle you and once and you still won. I wanted to help, but it's no good. Anyway, I'll heal your Pokemon. Well, yes, I have been training for such occasions. There's a harsh world out there. Always, only those survival of the fittest. And at only those who are fit to survive, I mean, will be able to thrive in such harsh reality. With such a harsh reality, these deadlies are really slippery. I almost fell down back down the mountain. This hike is really hard. We're resting for a bit. Bianca and April, where are Madame and Pansia? Are you sure it's a good idea to bring a fire type into a forest? Just saying, that's not a good idea. Hmm. 
rain dance. Very wind. Now your fire moves are less effective. Caught fairy wind to eliminate th the main threat, even though Panseer is a terrible fire type. Growth. Probably give the XP share to uh to my to my Matang, given that I'm not using him as often as I probably should. Uh I'll go nature power. And wait, what's the oh whatever. Uh fa fairy wind again, just just keep ganging up on one Pokemon. Let's see. That's Try attack. So it hits both, it seems. Well, I learned something new every day. Or apparently not. I thought it actually attacks both because it did automatically select the target, or so I must have got something mistaken. They really are ganging up on my lump right here. I'll switch out lump right from the tang again. And Whimsicott will use Fairy Wind again. Fairy Wind! Poor, I see. Anyway, uh, I shall Zen headbutt you and Giga Drain. No, not Sunspot. Giga Drain you. Excellent work. Oh no. Zen headbutt. Fairy wind. Oh no. Zen headbutt. And down you go. Mothum. Metal Claw You Fairwood Good hit Well, seems somebody doesn't know how their moves work entirely Matang Finish it off. Hmm. Scary face. No, you don't need that move. How do you bow so well? I train. I guess it's time to go now. Don't want to get left behind. You're amazing, Ravon. I wish I could battle like that. I try, but I keep losing. 
I'm scared how my Pokemon will dislike me if I push them too hard. Hmm. I guess you want me to heal your Pokemon though. Here. You should you shouldn't be too scared about losing friendship. I'm not sure what the heck? What on uh uh what? Uh okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Um <laughs> Okay then, uh, hold on, uh, let me reset. Alright, now that that's been fixed, anyway, back on topic. If you truly wish to become a good trainer, then you must learn how to take risks. Because if you don't, you won't be able to hone your own skills, and you would only bring your Pokemon down. Unless, of course, if you're raising Pokemon that have all based off friendships, such as a Golbat, then of course you would have to stress about such thing. However, with all with it, with almost any other Pokemon, you're you don't have to worry too much. No matter who you who you battle, if you're not the champion, there's always someone better. Uh huh. Everyone passing by saying that Ravon beat them. I want to see your strength for myself. Very well. Let us battle. Paris and Knockout. Hmm. Well, this would be a quite the predicament. Okay, I'll switch here. Wind of Pot. Uh, I'll go with. Uh, yeah, Matang. Wow, my Matang is getting ganged on. Acrobatics. Matang. Missile Claw. Oh my. Pineco. Tang and Bullet Punch. Crobat, Confuse Ray. Matang, uh, just sit there and uh, drink some water. <laughs> Matang, just sit there and drink. Oh no! Okay, apparently I can't. Cross. Actually, it's better if I use acrobatics. Acrobatics. And you use Zen Headbutt. And you failed. Sturdy. Well, that's not going to help. And a double battle. Bad Catcher Kennedy. Well, you're definitely better than us. How can you be both of us at the same time by yourself? It's called training. Rigorous training. You're really strong, Ravon. I definitely want to partner with you next time. We'll see you at the top. I've decided from now on I'm going to try harder. I won't be scared anymore. I have to trust my Pokemon like you. Trust yours. 
I know I'd get better as a trainer if I don't at least do that much. First of all, heal your Pokemon. Good. It seems... It seems that we have made it to the top. I hope you are ready. Congratulations of all of you for making it up here. Not even er everyone your age or any age really could have made it up this far. You have shown me how resourceful and knowledgeable you are while in the wilderness, and for that I am proud of all of you. Now if you look behind me, you can see Celebi's Shrine. These are records that say Celebi used to be on he seen here on occasion. Assuming that is true, Celebi hasn't been seen nearly in a century. One theory that Celebi found a worthy trainer and has been traveling with him or her since it has been seen last. That is a popular theory, and it's quite romantic if you think about it. Imagine a legendary Pokemon such as Celebi partnering up with a trainer like you or me. Who knows? Sally B could come back in 5 seconds and you could be the next trainer it partners with. Hmm? What is it? But there's another theory. Just as popular, but a tad bit darker. Legends say that Celebi is able to travel through time at will. It is also said that Celebi would only appear in times of peace and only when humanity will have a future without strife. So the theory goes that there is an event in our future that will be so bad that Celebi refused to return to the region even 100 years before it happened. That... what? Tch. Hate to leave it on that note, but looks like a storm is coming out pretty fast. Hmm, I see. We can't stay up here. Let's head back. Wow, it's crazy on how the storm came. Yeah, for real. Still lots of fun though. I know, right? I though for sure... I thought for sure that Celebia would appear. Did you feel it too? Oh. Have you guys seen Henry? No, he hasn't been here. I see. Okay, I'll be gone for a bit. If you need any help... Camp head Alyssa will be in her tent, and the nurse will be in the nurse tent. Stay out of trouble until I come back, okay? So, enemy's gone? I, saw, I thought I saw him coming back down the hill with us. Maybe he saw a bug Pokemon and he liked it and he got sidetracked. He was talking to me about wanted to catch some earlier. He wouldn't, would he? I mean, it started raining after we got back. Hmm, maybe he just took a wrong turn on our way back and got lost. That's terrible. I would hate to be out in the rain like this. Not my Lombre, though. Lombre likes the rain. <laughs> so, hey. If it's raining, then my Lombre has the advantage in terms of the battle. And this storm is actually really bad. Is Henry really gone? Not sure what we can do, but we can't just leave him out there in the rain, though. So I imagine Henry is the guy who partnered up with me. That isn't good. Henry! Where are you? What the hell is he doing? <laughs> it's getting more intense. Good thing I have a Lombre. A Pokemon that thrives within this in the rain. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that much different from a regular battle, actually, now that I think about it, but whatever. What is he doing? Seems to glow as you draw near. Henry? Henry! Where are you? What the heck? Where did he go? 
Oh my goodness. That's... Oh my goodness. That was... Man, they were not joking about that storm. That's for sure. Henry, where the hell are you? Damn it. Where did he go? Have you seen him? Wow, this is some nasty weather. This isn't too unusual near the mountains, though. The higher you go up, the worse the weather can get. I like that part about the mountains, too. If you don't respect them, they will destroy you one way or another. Not that I disrespect nature. In fact, I love nature. That has always been what I have been thinking for a while. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to disrespect nature. I have an uneasy feeling like something dreadful is nearby. Wait, is he at the- Oh no. Did he stumble into the beedrill nest? Oh, that fool! That idiot! Oh, that idiot. He stumbled into the- <sighs> He probably stumbled into the beedrill nest. The place where I was grinding. I don't know- I don't know for sure that- those beedrill are tough. Those beedrill are not to be messed with. God damn it. Help! There's too many beedrill. I'm stuck. God damn it. God damn it. <sighs> what? He stumbled into the beedrill nest. That fool! I'm already familiar with the bee drill nest, so I can handle them. I can handle them myself. Duh! This is a lot more than I expected. They must have been camping out at their nest to set out the, to set out the storm. Duh. I think that would happen this way. Looks like I'm gonna have to destroy through all- I'm gonna have to go through all of them. I'm gonna have to shred through all their defenses. There's more bee drill in here than before. But there's nothing I couldn't handle. In fact, the more bee drill here is just simply gonna make my Pokemon stronger. And that lightning is extremely loud! Or thunder! One or the other. Uh, actually, since it's neutral, I believe. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Twin Needle, that is not going to work. That is not effective at all. I have the type advantage. <sighs> Henry, that fool, why did he stumble into the bee drill nest? Did nobody tell him about that? Did the head instructor not tell anybody to stay away from the beedrill nest? That fool. That fool. I can't believe this. Good thing I trained here. I'm already aware on how this will go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through all of these bee drill, which, uh, which isn't actually a problem for me because I've already trained here. I already know their patterns, their fighting style, and their weaknesses, and I have the proper Pokemon to defeat them all. I need to save my power points for... Yes, I need Crobat to save energy f to use acrobatics on that one beedrill there. That shiny beedrill, it seems. I'll shred through all of them.
So many of them. I'll go through every single one of them. I'm not afraid of them. They will fall. Crobat. Use Utilize Cross Poison. Save your energy to use Acrobatics on the, on the leader of Beedrill. On the leader of the swarm. Duh, so many of them. Many of them. Duh. Damn it. I was only able to move one step. Fight. See how much damage that will do. Oh wow. Okay, then I should probably use bite more often. I mean, yeah, that was a critical, but still does a lot of damage, probably on its own. Damn it! I'll go through every single one of them if I have to. That fool. Is he planning to get himself killed or something? Does he not know the risk of grinding in the beetle nest? The first time I ever interacted with this nest, I barely came out alive. And that's right, even for a person who had only one single badge had a hard time with this. This is no easy feat. Duh. What? What? Duh. Berserk bee drill. The swarm. Hmm. If it's just a battle you want, then it's a battle I will give. Acrobatics. Another bee drill. Acrobatics. Again. Reach the level cap. Another V drill? Go ahead. There it is. The queen. The head. What? What is this? A 
Mega V drill. <laughs> I think you'll be able to do that, but of course that doesn't really matter because it still got destroyed by my acrobatics. <laughs> well, that doesn't really matter anymore because uh, my acrobat's just that powerful. Okay, uh, probably... uh, why not? Let's let's have Matang gain some of this experience. Granted that uh, this one doesn't use pursuit and absolutely destroy me. Okay, we're good. Another beat drill. Zen had a butt. And that's the game. I win. Hmm. Th thanks. I thought I was gonna die for sure. We need to get out of here before they come back. Come on. You're the one who got me into. What's this? A breeder light. So this was the item that shiny. That strange beedrill had used. After the sudden onset of stormy conditions and the dramatic events that followed, the decision was made by the camp heads to end the trip a bit early. Although you and Henry managed to get back without camp, uh, the camp heads noticing, your story quickly became a popular one among the other members of the camp crew. Henry deflected the question when the leaders asked him where he had been. But word would no doubt get around. I see your trip was cut a bit short, but I hope you still had a good time. Indeed. I already know that. Hmm. Well then. That was quite the adventure, wasn't it? I had to tear through every single bee drill to get to that boy. What the hell was he thinking? Did nobody warn him of the bee drill nest? Seriously, did nobody warn him about the bee drill nest? Not even a person who has won a, who has won a gym, bad, gym battle against Pit will be able to handle those so easily. The fool. Anyway, uh, can I take that XP share back? Because you already hit the level cap, so... Yeah. Probably gonna give you that. Anyway, I just advance. Back to the academy. Hmm. I truly wonder, what does the headmaster want? Who knows? You. Welcome back, Mr. Rutlon. You wish to see me. It's good to see you again. I haven't left... I haven't heard from you since you first left. Although, I do recall hearing about your endeavors in Taikane. Even that was far too long ago. What have you been up to since then? No, 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 no. First things first. The world never rests, does it, Ravon? You and I have both been busy since we've last talked. How many badges do you have? Two. Two? Well, that's quite impressive. Quite impressive indeed for you to accomplish such a feat within the short time since you left. Well... 
pleasantries aside, I called you here first and foremost to talk to you about your Pokedex. I'm happy with the progress you made thus far. Among the students I gave you the Pokedex to, you've been among the most productive. Remember to keep an eye out for new species as you travel to new areas. I hope to gather information and abilities about Pokemon all around the world. I want to understand their strengths and their weaknesses. Of all the data you acquire throughout your Pokedex will be used in a project of mine. I'm getting in on a getting on in age and I dare say that I've had quite the accomplished life. However, there's an idea that I've had since my days as a youth. This project will truly be my life's work. I will not I won't go into too much detail just yet, but know that I am counting on you. Not to put too much pressure on you, I have asked several others the same that I have asked you. Hmm. Ah, I suspect you will intend to travel a fair distance from the academy soon. It may not be a simple matter to get back here within a reasonable amount of time. Allow me to give you my number. I see. You can call me from any phone, and I'll tell you how your Pokedex is coming along. Uh, there's one more thing that I wanted to tell you. You know Team Celestial, right? I want you to stay clear of them at all costs. I have a reason to believe that they'll be doing something very dangerous soon. The Pokemon League notifies of us of all suspect activities. Ah, Mr. Sterling, back so soon. Yes, we need to talk. It's about time. I see. Sorry, Ron, but I'll have to ask you to leave. I have to attend to some urgent matters. Remember to call me if you want to hear about your Pokedex. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I certainly hope that team. I certainly hope that Elise will inform me of what happens, of what will be happening anyway. Whatever this dangerous activity may be. I certainly hope I will be informed of such matter. Otherwise... Hmm. Oh, there you are, Ravan. I was just wondering you, where you were. How have you been? I mean, I know it hasn't been that long, but I was thinking that I never really did show you around before. I just, uh, greeted you and then left before. But I have some time now, so you want to come back with? Of course. Right. Good. We needed to talk about some stuff, you know. Well, let's go. Time's a-wasting, as they say. Ah. So I wanted to show you around since I never really got the, the chance to before. The first thing you should know that is that you are free to come and go as you please. I mean, that should be obvious, but in case it wasn't, we keep guards here to make sure no one manages to sneak in. Maybe you should tell them how you managed to get by then, just to make sure it doesn't happen again. Later though, moving on. It's important for you to know that you're a member of Team Celestial. Now. So you should be asking yourself what your place is on the team. And that, that is what I have in concern, yes. Fortunately for you, since you're my personal recruit, you're exempt from the menial tasks that our grunts have to deal with. Your job will be to assist me when I go out on a mission. When that time comes, I'll teach you what I can and how to do what I do. For now, there aren't any missions planned. The entire group is going to be part of a big mission in Squall City. You may remember me talking to Indigo about the last time you were here. 
I can't tell you any details, but I will tell you that it is a big deal. So the higher ups have told us to rest until that time came. At the very least, we can get you acquainted with the team. This is the training ground. I figure that this is a good place for you to make an impression considering your battle prowess. Since you have those badges, it's clear to me that your main goal, if you will, is to collect more badges. That is correct. So I figure I won't be able to hold you for very long. And that's fine, you can come and go as you please. Your friend from before, Cassandra, was an interesting person. I can tell both you both have lofty goals. But that being said, since you joined Team Celestial, I can't let you brush us aside. I want you to, to talk to some of the people around, just to get to know them. That way, when I do call you for a job, there's gonna be at least a bit of chemistry between you and other members. But that's all I really wanted to say. I know that I had some time, but now that I think about it, there's something I need to take care of. I'll be around if you need me. Take care. As you wish. Hello, I assume you heal. Hello there. I can hear your Pokemon if they are tired. Would you like me to do that? Yes. Just in case, I do not want to walk into a battle with weakened Pokemon. Greetings. Tyrogue, we get, we're trained to get stronger, even while the trainer asking it to. My job then is to watch over it and make sure that it is training the right way. I see. A Venomoth. Who are you? Ravon? You're in Greenswing? Okay then, let me probably greet you to Team Celestial. Bring it. Bubble Beam. Let's test to see how strong you are against these Pokemon, despite the type disadvantage. Oh my, that's a lot of damage. Hmm. Well, I don't expect you to be too powerful against them. No matter. That will not work. Zen headbutt. Venomoth. Seems that... Lombre will have to sit this one out. Zen headbutt once more. I think you'll be fine just I'll be I think you'll be just fine here. I'm actually a bit stunned that you beat me so easily. Usually Green's wing isn't composed of the best trainers. I guess you'd be an exception though if you were personally recruited. I worked hard to get here. Now I'm debating whether or not I should even use Lombre as my front. Hmm. I suppose for now, I'll be taking that Evio light and give you the experience share. Since if you need it more than my Matang. And I'll give Matang the Evio light. Because it's, it's going to be a while until Matang even reaches level 45, where it can finally evolve into a Metagross. The general idea is to do Pokemon training here, but I figure there's no reason I can't 
train here too. I see. Uh, what's with all the what's with the slacking? Slacking is lounging around. If he refuses to pay you any mind. Hmm. It's team policy to let wild Pokemon in and out of the High Dynasty, please. But I'd be lying if I said that having slacking in the area doesn't unnerve me. Well, he just... Well, don't piss it off, then. I have rare Pokemon, wanna see? Huh. We'll see if they are rare or not. I'm not impressed. At all. In fact, I was even given a battle toy as soon as I was given the opportunity to become a member here. I see I'm disappointed. Hit him with Metal Claw once more. Oh. Well then. I mean, that's not gonna do much, because Steel-type. That did nothing. Sableye. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'll switch to Whimsicott. Because I know it is part dark. Something that is weak to Fairy-type. Leech Seed. How? Oh, just in case. Fairy Wind. Significant damage. I can see why you have a red Pokemon. Looks like you weren't entirely wrong. I haven't seen a Sableye around that commonly. Where'd you get Pokemon like those at? Well, simple. I caught them all. I mean, I didn't catch the Matang, but I'm obviously gonna keep that information under wraps, cause... Yeah... We're keeping the fact that my... That the mother... That my mother is in fact a breeder. Did not want her to get hunted down. Well, we were taking a rest, but I guess I could value. Spinarak. Zen hit a butt. Ariados. Not even a challenge. Zen hit butt. Not even close. Again. Sheesh, no rest for the weary. I guess I need to train some more, but I really want just want to rest. That's fair enough, I suppose. You can only train for so long before your Pokemon removes run out of power points. I wish it was easy to buy ethers. Oh yeah, I get the feeling as well. Wisdom gets rattled when it gets when it is hit by a dark type move. I don't think Hutu has any of those though. No. Doesn't. Oh good. 
sparring partner. Bring it. You know, I'm sensing a lack of diversity in terms of Pokemon. Because all I've been seeing are Hootoots, Venonats, Ball Toys, and Spinarax mainly. Seems to be a common. well. a common occurrence for the grunts. Ever heard of capturing new Pokemon? Because I believe that would help your efforts quite a bit. You'd be surprised. On the You'd be quite surprised on how catching wild Pokemon would be very useful. Knockdown, stay. Metal Claw. That doesn't work. Metal Claw once more. And you missed. You missed me. Metal Claw once more. Well, there goes my confidence. I thought I was one of the stronger ones here, but to get beaten so soundly, and by a recruit no less. Hmm. Hello there? Yes. Heal me. Okay then. I was trying to train the slow poke, but every time I stopped watching even for a minute, it just stops what it was doing and lays down. Maybe it's training in its own way right now? Maybe? Like meditation or something? No, that's just as in its nature, honestly. <laughs> hmm, seems like I've already gone through everyone here. Time to report back. Sometimes it's just good to take a moment to relax. You know, I should be long gone by now. I've shirked my duties a good deal as it is. Well, you can go if you want to. I won't be in the office though, so if anyone needs my help, they'll need to hunt me down. So you're playing the guild card this time. I'm not going to keep doing your jobs for you. Hey, are you listening to me? Perfect timing, Ravon. This is Codename Black, admin of Team Celestial. Master of Strategy and Intelligence. So this is your personal recruit. My apprentice. Apprentice that you've already lost to in battle. Don't make me angry. Sorry. <laughs> Ravan, if Black tell if Black ever, ever tells you Yeah, not every ever tells you to do anything, you listen to what he says, alright? Now that I think about it, there's one more person I'd like you to meet. All me. This is this here is Vin. He heads security, the security and surveillance department, and is one of the key members within the Green Wing. It is a pleasure and an honor, Green. And her name is Nancy. I believe she is helping Vin out today. That is correct, Miss. Vin, Nancy, this here is Ravon. He is a very promising recruit who you'll be seeing around. Nice to meet you, Ravon. Now Vin, why don't you talk to Ravon about what you do? I need to go back to make sure Black doesn't think that I just abandoned him. Not good. Black was supposed to have left him a long time ago. And now Green is breathing down our backs. We can't afford to wake it any longer. Quiet the kid, Nancy, while I take care of the security. We'll find we'll figure out what to do about the uh, Green afterward. What? Alright, kid, stay calm. We can just we just need you to disappear for a little bit. Over my dead body. Over my dead body, whoever you are. Oh. 
Oh my, that's a dark type. Well, I got a contingency for that. You have a Lipard, I have an angry monkey. An angry pig monkey. Karate Chop. That's going to work on me. Ineffective. Who the hell do you think you are? Knock off? Nah, not a physical attacker. You will not learn that. Cottony, huh? I'll switch to Crobat. Yeah, I'll switch to Cro. Actually, no, I'll switch to Matang, because I believe you're still weak. I believe you're weak to steal. I'm not mistaken. Also, you haven't evolved your Cottony? What? <laughs> Is it that hard for you to find a Sunstone, apparently? I guess it seems like it. That will not work against my Matang. Illumise, huh? Well, I remember how nefarious that Pokemon is. That is why I also have a Pokemon to counter such po to su counter such tactics. Frost Poison. Tackle. That will not work. Too bad. We're going down. Finn, this kid is really strong. Did you lose? I lost Finn, you'll have to beat him. No. You guys made too much noise. Even if we could hide the kid somewhere now, the green will be suspicious. In fact, she's coming now. What is going on here? Those two are traitors. Those both, the two of them are sleeper agents or double agents, whatever. Uh, we were just... You were having a Pokemon battle. Kecleon can tell me that much. What I want to know is... Why? Both of them, they're traitors. <laughs> Finn and Nancy, you ought to know that. Battling is off limits unless you are on tr the training grounds. Move! So you were talking to some friends, huh? Abandoned mission, it says. What kind of mission are you abandoning, Vin? And of course, Sudowodo has the ex exit blocked off, in case you were thinking about running. Do you have anything to say about this, Nancy? We're not doing anything unusual. <coughs> if there's nothing unusual, you would explain to me what is actually going on, instead of trying to convince me that there's nothing unusual. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone wants to talk yet. The both of them, they're traitors. <laughs> They're, they're double agents. <laughs> and of course, you've deleted your message history. That just makes you even more suspicious. Oh wait, there's a new message. It's from Dr. Newt. So that pretty much guarantees that you're all working for the Pokemon League. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to plan B. The officers are already in place and will move in shortly. If you are not in any immediate danger, stay where you are. Your assistance may be required in the raid. A raid? Well then, I think all that needs to be said has been. You called, Ben? S ah, miss? Yes. Take Vin and Nancy to the holding cells. They are to be kept there until further notice. Yes, ma'am. You did a great job holding off those two. What a way to make a bad impression. Sorry you have to deal with those two. Cues like this aren't a regular thing, I promise. No matter. I was probably. I already, I already knew what I signed up for when I joined Team Celestial. But, uh, I have to tell you something important. Meet me in the front office as soon as you can, okay? Hmm. Okay, this thing there. Okay. I'll have to heal first. Be right back. 
Because, I mean, there's going to be a massive police raid, it seems. So, whatever that is. And I do not want to take any unnecessary risks by not healing my team. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Ravon. So, as it turns out, your first initial official mission will be today. We'll get to evaluate some skills that are relevant to your position. You called for me, miss? Yes. You'll be coming with us. Follow me and I'll explain. So based on the messages that were sent to Vin, we can assume that the Pokemon League has sent the police to raid our hideout. There's only one thing we have that could make the Pokemon League go through such great lengths to get it. What I'm about to tell you is absolutely top secret information, even amongst the rest of the team. Not a people this will be uttered to anyone else, got it? Understood. Yes, miss. Underneath this building, there is a cavern. In that cavern, there's a machine. In that machine, there's a Pokeball. Inside that Pokeball, there's a very strong Pokemon. The Pokemon inside doesn't matter to you. What I want you to do is go in there and get that Pokeball and bring it back to me. This will be a test of your resolve and intuition. I'm counting on you, Ravon. I won't be able to help you. I'll be busy helping the team prepare for the raid, assuming it does happen. Can you take care of this with me? Uh, for me? Yes. Good. I hope to see you in a bit. I guess I should mention you need the passcode to get into the machine down there. If we're willing to sniff around a bit, the passcode is hidden down there. Well, I guess I could just tell you the password code. Do you want me to tell you? Well, you did just say this is an evaluation of my resolve and intuition, so... I'll figure it out by myself, if you will. You've got the right mindset. If you always take the easy way out, you won't be able to cope with it when the, when the going gets tough. That's my first bit of advice to you. Something to consider from now on. I'll go ahead and tell you one thing though. Look for the signpost when you're down there. Good luck. I guess I'll just follow you? She didn't really explain what I'm here for, did she? No, she didn't. But we're about to find out.